Hello YouTube and welcome back to ASX Portfolio. So today we're going to be talking about part three of the Efficient Frontier um, tutorial series and we're going to be talking about the portfolio which has the minimum amount of risk or minimum amount of variance. So let's jump into the code and let's talk about how we can build this optimization function. So first off, we're actually going to need to find a function um, which is dependent on weights, very similar to negative um, sharp ratio up here that actually outputs what we want to minimize and that is portfolio variance. So we already have this function called portfolio performance um, which is dependent on weights, mean returns and covariance. So I propose that we use this function but specifically only return the standard deviation there. So let's call a function um, portfolio variance. I'm going to take in the weights, mean, and covariances as above, but we only want to return, we only want to return the portfolio performance second parameter there. So index one for standard deviation. So of course we need to add in our parameters to that function and that should return exactly what we want. So now actually building the optimization function. So we're going to call it minimize variance. And we're going to take the same parameters as the maximize sharp ratio portfolio. So what do we want to do? We want to minimize the portfolio variance by altering the weights or allocation of assets in the portfolio. So similar objective to next last time, except instead of getting the max sharp ratio, so the best bang for your buck in terms of um, return versus volatility, now we just want to minimize the volatility. So again, we're gonna get the number of assets from the length of mean returns we're going to have the same arguments as above and we can probably just copy here um, all of that. So again, we have the arguments, the mean returns, covariance matrix and risk-free rate. Um, the constraints are equalities um, for the sum of all weights must be equal to one in the portfolio the bounds of the constraint set, so just saying that each for each asset, the allocation can either be from 0% to 100%. And now onto the minimization function, the result, we need to change this function that we're minimizing over to portfolio variance. And remember that's actually gonna return the standard deviation. But of course the standard deviation squared is the portfolio variance. And if we minimize the portfolio standard deviation, we are therefore minimizing the portfolio variance. So let's now, our initial guess is the number of assets, um, a list of one over the number of assets. So simply just giving an even portfolio weighting for our initial guess. We're reading in those arguments into this portfolio variance function. We're using the sequential least squares Programming, um, we've got the bounds defined and we have the constraints, excellent. So now, if we test out our function, we should be okay. Let's just copy and paste what we've done there and we're gonna say min, min var result. We're going to now use that function with mean returns, minvar, and minvar weights. Just making sure that all lines up and let's print out our values. So coming down to a fresh, fresh terminal, CD, portfolio, Python, oh, better save that function before running. And this should print out both the results of the maximum sharp ratio portfolio 
and the min var. So what have we got here? Takes three positional arguments, but four were given. Okay. And the risk-free rate. Have I defined the risk-free rate within portfolio performance? No, I haven't. Okay. So because I haven't actually defined the weights in uh, the risk-free rate in portfolio performance, I'm not going to include that measure in my arguments. So I'm going to drop the risk-free rate from the minimize variance portfolio just because I'm not reading it into my minimization function. Excellent. Now you can see the difference between allocation um, between those two portfolio functions. So we've got 0% in BHP, 100% in CBA, and 0% almost in Telstra for the maximum um, reward versus risk portfolio, maximum sharp ratio, whereas we have 6% allocation in BHP, 22% allocation in CBA, and 70 to, yeah, 70, yeah, 2 yeah, 72% for the remainder there, um, for you doing the maths at home. Uh, Telstra allocation for the minimum variance portfolio. So I guess what, what we wanna do now is um, take these weights and actually put them back into the portfolio performance, um, uh, portfolio performance function so we can work out what those portfolio uh, returns are and variance. Once we've got that in the next episode, we're going to actually start iterating through different target functions. So saying, if I want this level of return, um, what is my portfolio variance and what are those allocations? And when we have defined that, we're going to be able to build the efficient frontier. So like always, thank you very much for listening to ASX uh, Portfolio and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more content.